quartz, which includes amethyst, smoky quartz, and citrine are some of the most underrated gems. Quartz is the second most abundant mineral that can be found on the Earth's surface. And because of that, it is not highly valued like other precious gems like sapphire or emerald, just to name a couple. Crystals that are all natural, cut by Mother Nature, I find they're just mesmerizing and just so beautiful. I love looking at them, touching them and holding them. Something about the feel of them does something to my soul that I just can't explain. Even though they are just absolutely beautiful, because of their abundance, they are relatively inexpensive. So when wire wrapping or making crystal into jewelry, I wanted to make something that looks intricate but quick to do. So on today's video, I'd like to show you how to make the entwined wrap. The basic technique for this wrap is using these four twisted wrap or entwined wrap and it's also a play with wine being wine or champagne, wine cork stopper, then that's why I called it entwined. So but the basic twist or wrap are these four sections here. So forget about the top part so it's only this area here and this is not exclusive to a crystal so this is the very first one I made using this wrap so these ones are just variation just a simple wrap on the top there so also the back there just wrapped up simply after I make the bail I just wrap up the leftover wires around and also made little curls or loops on the side to add to the design and this one is all twisted through up until the end of the wire so I've twisted two wires but they both have four loops for the bail. This one is smaller and that one is larger. And this one, the technique is the same. Instead of wrapping the wire around, I've inserted some beads around it going around. And also the other side, I just twisted or made some little vines and loops and also inserted a bead on one of the wires. So that's another variation. As what I've said, it's not exclusive to crystals. As long as you have a substantial or chunky pieces or even say round ones so it has to be a little bit chunky on the chunky side or a little bit thicker then it's fine so even this one there's not much holding it except the technique or the wrap itself so this one is similar to that one and instead of putting the loops at the end on the side like this one I put it on the front so so this one is also a crystal that's actually a geo so as I turn it you can see the crystals inside and also this wrap has got four bale and a whole lot of crazy looping vining going on the front there just to give it a little bit more substance and I use 24 gauge wires on this and this one is also a 24 gauge wire so this one's got eight bail just to balance it up because with the four it looks a bit skinny so I thought I'll give it more bail so that way it has a nice balance now with the wire you can use any type of wire so you can use sterling silver a 21 gauge or a 24 gauge that's okay but with a brass wire I'm using I don't know if they have a hardness in brass wire because I do buy them in spools like this they're quite inexpensive so that's why I like using them plus also I'm running out of gold field wires and my fine silver wires or sterling silver wire so now I'm just using a copper wire or should I say a silver coated copper wire like this one so 24 gauge is what I'm gonna be using today so we'll start with a basic wrap and I already got large ones so now I wanna see how it turns out with a really small piece of crystal so this is probably about two centimeters long how much wire to cut it would have to depend on the size of the crystal or the stone you're using with this one because I wanted to make more loops or make more bales so the bale itself so this one is about four centimeters the smaller ones is around three centimeters so this one's actually basically just one loop this one is double so what we're after is the diameter of the stone times 10 of the size or diameter of the stone that you're doing and this one I actually cut uh, about 
45 or half a meter because I wanted to put the crystal and so I know I'm going to be doing a lot of looping so which means I'm going to require more wire also the diameter of this is close to four so even at less than four centimeters I cut up I think 45 centimeters wire hopefully you got the my explanation for the wires so with a small one with this one i'm just gonna do so 2.5 so i'm gonna stick to 25 just to show you because we're just doing a basic wrap anyway uh, so it's between times 10 to times 12 of the diameter of the stone you're doing so let's begin now i've got 25 centimeters so this is just roughly you can do more what I've said but never ever do less because you're gonna run short and there's nothing worse than running short now I don't know how long this video is gonna go and there might be instances where I'm gonna be out of focus because I'm gonna get carried away doing this but anyway uh, I've timed myself with this one it took me 25 minutes to do this one the simple ones is about 15 minutes without talking of course so I don't know I'm gonna try and see if I can stop talking because every time I talk sometimes my hand goes with it of course that's gonna be extra time and just for fun I'm gonna set my timer okay we'll start there you go I've got my small crystal which is only two centimeter long and it's around the diameter is 2.5 therefore 25 centimeters so what I'm gonna do now is take the center so that's roughly the center the tools I'm not gonna mention the tools individually separate because it's extra time you just have to please pay attention as to what tools I'm gonna be using so first of all I've got the flat tip again I'm talking so this is gonna slow me down so now I'm just gonna do so roughly I'll find the widest point of the crystal but I'm gonna start in the bottom because this one although it looks like it's tapered there's really not much difference on the size so this is more like a triangular crystal at the top if you see that so anyway so that would be basically almost the same size so I'm just gonna go so which means that's a bit less than the widest facet of the crystal I am NOT looking at my monitor here so please bear with me if I go out of focus or out of camera every now and then but I'll try and stay so now okay so first one so one minute and 30 seconds already gone because of talking so do we start again okay never mind okay so now I'm gonna bend that there and bend the other side as well okay we're just gonna use it as a guide okay you can use a clamp if you wanted to okay and wish I just flicked that one over okay you can use a clamp to hold them together but I'm just gonna use my fingers and then put my nail that's why I didn't cut my nail because uh, it's a uh, wires is a bit hard on the hand or the finger so you're gonna get callous so anyway so I'll just split them up and just press that like so and I'm gonna cross them so hopefully so you can see I'm putting pressure and that's so I'm just gonna twist so one two three four four closely packed twists okay so now I'm gonna separate this and I am going to get another one and put it next to it and we'll do the same thing twist it again so one two three Four. and if it's going funny it doesn't matter you're not gonna be able to see that later on it'll be all good okay so now we've got two and maybe do another one because it's unraveling itself okay so there you go so if you can see that one is tightly packed and that one is a little bit loose so we'll get another wire so now I've used up all my four wires and again this one now again I'll just do the opposite like that there just so I can have some space and twist them again four okay so now so what we have is one two three and four so if I join the two together we're just gonna see 
how well it sits on this crystal. So just do a test and that would be just perfect. So I'm going to take the crystal off or you can leave it on, it's up to you. And I'll twist it again for the last time. So this is the fourth twist and also four. Okay, so now if you put your crystal through and it's a bit tight like that, Okay, this is the trick. What you do is get some round nose pliers and then you can just spread them. Spreading that way and that way. So I'm going to take the round nose pliers again and insert it through the center and so it will be rounded up. Okie dokes. So now we're going to put the crystal through or in. I also have a felt uh, board here so that way you don't damage the tip so if it goes that way then you don't damage the tip of your crystal so that's just a tip in protecting the tip of the crystal okay so we're gonna put this about a third of the way up because we really want to have as much crystal exposed or that part there but we also need somewhere where we can hold the crystal so it doesn't fall off. So now what we're going to do, so that's loose, it's going to come off and we're going to get nylon jaw pliers and we are going to tighten things up. So this one, just going to twist it more. One, two. Okay, so that one goes this way. And then that one goes this way as well. But that one's needing needing more twists, so I'm gonna go with this one and twist tight. And do not over twist or else you're gonna break the wire. Now, we'll see, there's still some movement, but what we're gonna do is get something and over wood or something to push it in. So there's gonna be gap there. So, well, this one's got gaps, so the gaps we pushed in. Okay, and also on the other side. And then, once you get to the stage, so that's tight enough. So we're going to get a pliers with a smaller tip. So you can use any pliers, you can even, so I'm going to use even this one that's got bent. So it's up to you what you have, but as long as the tip is smaller, you can even use a round, uh, round nose pliers. Okay. So a third of the way of the crystal, we're going to twist. We're twisting this way, the other way. So it's up to you, right or left, left or right, whichever you prefer. So there you go. So just have a twist and I'll just go around. It's another one and the last one. that one is slipping so I'm gonna use a round nose tip because I just nick my wire but it doesn't matter okay so now that's nice and tight what I want to do now is okay I'll just put one more so we're gonna fold that to go up the top like so and is separate the wires those are the two each so what I'm gonna do is I'll take one from each side and cross them and again, we're going to do this fairly tight and twist again a few times just so when I do push that at the top, it would sit right in the middle of the crystal. So that's going to need another one or two. So that way. So that way they all come to a point. So I'm going to do the same to the other one. So that one's done. I'll put that out of the way. So this one, uh, I'll go to the opposite side first. You can have it even or evenly spaced or separated. It's up to you what you prefer. What I like about this design is that it is so forgiving. You can make mistakes. You don't have to be fussy and yet still uh, you're, you're going to end up with a piece that looks really intricate. Okay, so now again, I'll do a twist it up. So that one's good. That one's good. Okay, now with this one, I'm going to use my nylon coated pliers and tighten it up. And now the 
other side. And that one needs a couple more to reach to the top. Okay. So now, push that up and I'm going to bunch up all of them. So once you get to this stage, you have to establish which side or face you want the crystal to face. So this is the front. So I'll do that one. So this is going to be the front of my pendant. So now I'm going to go. So this is the front. I'm going to go from the back and take one wire. So I'll get one. Separate that one. So I'll leave this one. So we get a set of four sets we're in. So now we have seven wires here and then one wire at the back, which is going to go into the front here. And that one's going to want to follow. So you better hang on to that one. Just wrap it up. So that way it doesn't go anywhere. So I just wrap up on my finger. So that way when I pull, it will tighten up. There you go. So just a couple of times and then I'm going to leave it at the back. Take this one off and twist the two together. So now we're going to be twisting about three centimeters because this is a smaller piece of crystal. I only want to have a three centimeter loop for the bail. So I'm just going to keep twisting to till three centimeters. There you go, if you don't believe me. Okay, so now, this one's now, I've got six wires, so we're going to pair them up. So it doesn't matter if they're with the original pair or they can form a new pairing. That's fine, as long as you've got two wires that you can twist up or wind up close to each other. So again, we'll do three centimeters. And I'm going to come back to you when I finish twisting them up. Now, I've finished twisting the four wires. So now I'm just uh, going to find the front again. Before I start wrapping this up, I'm going to secure this ones by twisting some more of those straight wires that's going across. So I just have around nose pliers again. Oops, okay. Now, this is a scenario, so this is a bad thing. I broke it because, again, I don't know my own strength. But it doesn't matter. That's fine. And if it's already broken, what you can do is this. If life gives you lemons, let's make lemonade. Okay. I'm going to lemonade this by twisting it around. I'll get my other smaller round nose pliers. I'm going to make a little loop or curl up there you go so now it's got a little round loop there to add to the design as long as you don't break the bottom part that's fine okay so now and we can press it down. There you go. So I got a couple of cute loops there. And then now also on this one, we'll just tighten this up or get it out of the way. But this time I'm going to be gentler. There you go. Not too much. And that one as well. Okay, oops. Now, I'm going to leave that one now. And so since this is the front of my pendant, so we're going to form a bail. So I'm just going to arrange this and also straighten the wire. So it's got a bit of a kink there. So again, we'll get the nylon coated pliers. And if you haven't got nylon coated pliers, you can take a pliers and put some masking tape around it. There you go. So straighten it up. And now we're going to get a pen or this one is piece of wood that I have from a brush so we'll put the wire around and so with this one I have bunch up all the wires and sort of put it together into one side going that way okay just so you can see the difference so you have the option to have it this way or you can actually separate the wire as well. I'll just take that off. So we'll put that back there or you can also split them up. This one is just on the side. 
So you got the bail having that nice uh, sexy curl on it. But this one we're just going to do a straightforward front looping. So I'm separating the two wires and I'm going to pull just to tighten it, make sure it's all nice and tight. So I'll put my hand on the wood and we'll take one side and going around. So just take an island coated plies for, so you can grab hold of it much easier. And go around. And there you go. And then we'll do the same on this other side here. We'll go the opposite side, of course. So that one came from this way. So going to the from the right, going to the left, going around. And this one is going, is coming from the right hand side, going to the left hand side. Okay, even confused myself. Okay, so I'm putting it at the front here. That way we're covering the top of the crystal that's showing. Like so. And again, we'll use the nylon coated pliers. And going around. So far that's what it looks like. So now since we broke off, uh, I've broken off, you didn't do it, I did, broken off that side there. So I'm gonna try and cover that part there by going around with see this one first. Okay so I'm just gonna do stack them up so I'll level them up first. I want the wire to go side by side that way it will create a nice wave. Okay, I'm just jiggling it. There you go. Oops, that one overlap. Again, sometimes it doesn't want to cooperate. Okay, see? Uh, come back here, keeps twisting. There you go. So now, the four wires are side by side. So I'm going to go over here to the front again, covering that little loop that we made and so now that's created that and then now we'll do the same on this side we're just going to line them up side by side so now that's covered that side nicely and what we're going to do is go around to the back so I'm just crisscrossing the two of them but making sure that all the wires are still lined up okay so go to the front this one I'm on the back right now okay so now there you go so now it looks like that and what we're going to do now is come to the front and go to the center so up the top there so now they're all going to meet up there and what we're going to do is cross this so I'll still leave the dowel and I'll put this down and I'm going to twist so I'll twist the two together just slowly because you can always tighten it up What I want to do is create like a little rosette at the front. But I want it so it's making a little wave as well. Because I think that would just look pretty. Okay, so I got them lined up again. So what happened now, so I just have enough wires left over. So now, what we're going to do now is this. Okay, so we'll do, we'll leave the dowel there because it's much easier to grab hold of. So now, what we're going to do is line it up. So that one, I got a short one. So the short one, I can loop up first, get it out of the way. And just tuck it in. like that and then this one's now I'm gonna bring that to the back of the bale and insert it there okay just slowly guide it so now it's popped out on the other side or the back part 
just going to pull this and wrap this around the bale. So you can see that. Not sure if you can see it because okay, so there it is, that one there. So now we'll insert it again just to secure it. I'm gonna need my curve flat nose pliers. So I'm gonna take that one off because it's blocking the way. There you go, that's better. So if you can see. We're just going to twist it up, pull it, tug it, okay, and secure it, okay, so there you go. So I've got two now, so the other one's already tucked in and that one's secure. So this one now, we'll do the same, we'll put that through the back and if I could grab that one as well. And we'll do the same. Wrap it up. So a couple of times we'll do and now as long as it's nicely tucked in where in it's not gonna snag up then you can cut it off. So now we're gonna cut this off at the back there the excess and tuck it in. So now the other side will do the same. So we'll tuck it in on that side there and that is actually looking really nice. So again we had the same scenario here where in one of the wires are shorter. So we'll do the same as what we did there. Just looped it up and tucked it in. So there you go. It's tucked in at the back and you can get your Dowel and push that in. There you go. So that's nicely tucked in there. So now this three will do the same. So we'll twist it actually like that. I can actually put the three together and we can pull it from the back. So I've got one. Wrap up and then two. and so you've got one tucked in two tucked in and the third one And there you go. So now with a little bit of adjustment, so we'll just insert the dowel and go the, the opposite way as well. And I want to spread out the bale. Take that off and stopwatch. I've got 40 minutes so it takes me twice as long talking to make it compared to really about 25 minutes it took me uh, to do this one and also that one so talking slows you down there you go so now anyway I'll push that in as well so I make a little adjustment I don't know what it is but somehow that reminds me of the movie Dracula and so there you go. Now our little pendant is finished. I hope you got the idea of the four wrap and even on crystals or piece of rock like that it will still do as well. Of course it's a bit too small. So it doesn't matter what you have you could always use this. I'm just picking up any rock I've got in front of my table here and you know that the design will work. So have fun wrapping and stay safe. Thanks for watching.